If the Galaxy Note 7 does indeed have the rumored iris scanner, how exactly will it work? Well, it will start by employing three lenses. At this point, it's pretty much in the bag that the upcoming Galaxy Note 7 will debut Samsung's long-awaited iris scanner. And we know now how it will work. Patently Mobile has uncovered a new Samsung patent that outlies the way its iris scanner works and what devices it can be used with. The list of compatible devices is actually surprisingly long considering the size and expense of an iris scanner. The triple camera array can potentially be used in laptops, tablets, smartphones, wearables, IoT devices, and digital cameras and more. According to the patent, and I quote, the iris recognition system employs three lenses to capture the image signal and then checks the iris of the user based on the image generated as well as other information, unquote. This other information will be the user's face for additional identification. Now below the three lenses in the diagrammatic patent illustration sits a lighting device which will direct a beam of infrared light onto the iris for image capture. In terms of how the whole system works to scan and identify a user's iris and other features, here's what the patent says word for word. Quote, the first lens may include two narrow angle lenses having narrow angles of view to expand and capture images of regions of the eyes of the user. The second lens may include a wider angle lens having a wide angle of view to capture an image of the face of the user. The first lens may be a zoom lens and the second lens may be a shorter focal lens length. You see, one of the major barriers to iris technology being used in consumer tech has always been both latency and expense. In secure facility applications, time and money are not much of an object. So taking the extra second an iris scanner requires to verify a person's identity is acceptable. Not so when used to unlock a smartphone, especially with the incredibly fast finger scanners we are now accustomed to. Having said that, it's unlikely Samsung will do away with its fingerprint scanner in favor of its iris scanner alone. Iris scanning tech may take several years to catch up and become refined and fast enough to outpace fingerprint sensors. So you can still expect to see both options in the immediate future. One final thing worth mentioning is that this triple camera system, complete with a light source, needs to be front mounted above the display. That means a larger bezel, at least somewhat. While the patent diagram isn't necessarily indicative of the amount of bezel the iris scanner will actually need, it will surely mean a larger bezel than usual. We'll see. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Today, nearly anything is possible. If you can dream it, your team can build it. Makers of collaboration software that helps your team work better together. Create and share content, organize results with the flexibility of Confluence. They even have instant messaging and video chat with HipChat. You can also manage code in real time with the power of Bitbucket. Visit Atlassian.com and see how Jira, Confluence, HipChat, and Bitbucket can give your team everything they need to succeed. Hey guys, Jace here. Just wanted to give you a heads up that we are working hard to flesh out better content across all our platforms, including Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, you name it. So make sure you follow us in the links provided right here.